So I'm going to talk about the technology that we're using on uh, the SM9 that you have here, but also, for example, on the Twin 6 and some or also on the Sub 6 that you have here, and also on the new speaker that we have, the Trio 6, and also the Solo 6 that you can't see, but they are here. Um, the technologies that we're using for our drivers are technologies that we patented and invented, and so we are the only one to use them. Um, so, the first technology that we're using is the beryllium tweeter. Uh, beryllium is a very special uh, metal, it's a natural metal. Uh, it's very uh, light, it's very rigid as well. So, and it has a lot of very good um, um, particularities. But I, I will, today I will uh, focus on the uh, material that we're using for the drivers the mid driver, the active driver, and the passive driver. And this is a technology that, that is called W Composite Sandwich Cone. Um, the W Composite Sandwich Cone is made by actually two things. The first thing is a foam, it's a white foam, that is called Roissel. And Roissel, what is very interesting with the Roissel is that it's very light and it's also very rigid, okay? And as you may know, for a driver, you have three important things when you talk about a driver. You have the rigidity of the driver, you have the lightness of the driver, and you also have the damping ratio of the driver. Okay? And to make a good driver, you, you have to take these three criteria into account. So Wassel is very cool, cool because you have a lot of rigidity and uh, it's very light. So once it's shaped, Okay. Then on this Roissel we put some layers, which is called glass skin, it's glass skin. But the good thing as we are manufacturing our own drivers, we are able to really act on the, at the beginning of the sound, which means that for example, the medium is W composite sandwich cone, the bass, active bass and passive bass are also a, a composite sandwich cone, but this one because it's, it's the medium, this one has a certain, the, the, the Roissel has a certain thickness and a certain amount of layers, which means that if you touch it, you can see and feel the driver moving under your finger. It's quite flexible. If you take this one, and as it's the base driver, if you do the same, it's the whole driver that moves because this one and this one on this one and this one, uh, the Roissel is thicker and you have more glass skins, okay? And because we are doing our own drivers, we are able to do actually whatever we want with the drivers. So quite flexible, uh, quite flexible uh, driver for the mids and quite thick uh, W composite sandwich cone driver for the base. Why? Because for the bass, you need to have something rigid that uh, um, avoids distortions. You want to have clear and fast bass. And as distortion is the enemy when you're talking about a driver, this material is very good because you are limiting the distortion. 